a game maybe called Silent Scope. But that gun is very noisy. In all fairness, the title is Silent Scope. What you're hearing is the bullet leaving the gun, not the scope itself. The scope might be quite silent. The president and his family have been attacked by an armed terrorist group. They are demanding freedom for their dictator. Go to the location immediately. Take out the terrorists. Yeah, 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 you know the deal. Look, the look. Silent fire. Scope is one of the all-time great arcade shooting games. It definitely had the coolest gun. Even better than Operation Wolf, and that's saying a lot. Back in the day when you went to the arcades or Dave and Buster's, if they had a silent scope machine, you ignored everything else and made a beeline for that wonderful sniper rifle on that amazing silent scope cabinet. This is silent scope on the iPod. So it doesn't have that awesome sniper rifle. This is not a replacement for the silent scope arcade machine, but it's still a lot of fun. It's just so friggin' cool that you can do this now. Back in the day, you could never travel with a silent scope arcade machine. You couldn't fly anywhere with that thing. They'd never let you on the plane. The iPod, though, totally legit. Silent Scope is from Konami, and Konami has been putting out a lot of very cool iPod games lately. I think they're embracing the mobile format, which I like because Konami has a lot of really cool video games. They've released the excellent Metal Gear Solid Touch, which is a very well-made game for the iPod. It's not a remake of Metal Gear Solid 4. Calm down but a different way of looking at Metal Gear Solid 4. It has addictive, immersive gameplay and feels like it was made for a handheld touchscreen game console. Silent Scope is somewhat different in that I think it's more of an awesome novelty item. It doesn't feel like it was a game made for the iPod. It feels like it was a game made for the arcades that they brought to the iPod because they could. And who can blame them? There's people out there who want to play Silent Scope whenever or wherever they may be. Calm down. The gameplay is not as slick as it is in Metal Gear Solid Touch, but it's somewhat similar. You touch on the screen to shoot people, basically. Double tapping will bring up the sniper scope. Tapping again will fire. And you know the deal, if you've ever played Silent Scope, your job is just to shoot all the bad guys and save uh, the world and, you know, stuff like that. It's a bit awkward because you can't just fling the gun around and move the scope all over the screen quickly like you can in the arcade machine. You have to drag it with your finger. And that gets a little clumsy. Also, it's easy to double tap if you're just trying to shoot somebody once and then try to shoot them again. Or if you get excited trying to blow somebody away, you double tap and then the scope pulls back to the wide mode. And tracking on bad guys and firing on them while they're moving is, is difficult. The gameplay in Silent Scope is really far superior with the arcade machine or with a light gun accessory. That's how the game was designed to be played. Wow! I found the president's daughter in the black convertible with Cobra. Take him out. Silent Scope is playable and looks and sounds pretty much like the arcade machine. The, the gameplay is not even close to actually playing it with the real gun accessory. But it's fun to be able to just play Silent Scope hanging out at the bar waiting for the airplane. On the bus, whatever. Along with the arcade mode, you also get a training mode and some other things in there. For a very affordable price, you get a decent package. Now, if only they could find a way to get a full-size sniper rifle accessory to plug into the iPod, then, then they would really have something. I think I can speak for a lot of us when I say that 
when a video game has an accessory or peripheral attachment that's 10 times the size of the actual game console, then that's a sign of quality.